Good morning. As advertised, uh, my name is Matthew. I am here on behalf of the Westminster Forward Committee to deliver an update on what we have been up to and what is yet to come. Uh, as a reminder, our committee was commissioned by the session to help discern uh, what the coming months and years might look like for this church in this season of change. We've had several meetings filled with thoughtful discussion and we'd like to share some more details with you here today. First and foremost, in order to keep the church continuing to hum along uninterrupted, we have voted unanimously to recommend to the session a formal search for temporary pastoral leadership. This is different than having Chip or Allen come in on a week-to-week -week basis to guest preach. This would be someone who leads the congregation for a short time explicitly to help fulfill the normal functions of a regular minister while we search for our next regular minister. This is a very common step for churches to take. We will be no exception to this. During this time, our session will be reaching out to the Presbytery for wisdom and guidance. This, among other things, is what the Presbytery is for, so we're grateful for their assistance. Church staff, on the other hand, stays the same through this process. This includes administrative support, property maintenance and finance, members should continue to contact the church office to pass on or voice any pastoral needs. As if we needed reminding, it has been a long time since Westminster has had to deal with the transition between ministers. It can be uncomfortable and sometimes anxious, but it is most definitely part of the life of a normal and healthy church. While we wait for the temporary pastoral leadership search to play out, pulpit supply and music will continue to be arranged for weekly services during the summer season. Our search for a new full-time organist and choir master is already underway. Our committee has enlisted the help of Sarah Tunnall, an ordained Presbyterian minister and Bloomington resident, to have conversations with our members to gather large-scale information and trends about what makes Westminster Westminster, and what sort of church Westminster has the capability of being in the months and years to come. Sarah will be reaching out to folks shortly, and we are eager to see her final report in the coming months. If you have not already signed up to speak with Sarah, and, uh, uh, and this is strictly voluntary, by the way, Sign-ups are on the table to the right, just as you exit the sanctuary. Those attending this service remotely or virtually may contact the church office, and I will help get your contact information passed on to Sarah. This is as short a summary as, as can be done for all that is happening right now. During this time for Westminster, as we are looking from the outside to bring new people into vacant positions, our best help will come from within. There are open spots on the session board for finance and mission work, and there is also space for more deacons to serve. In our Presbyterian tradition, deacons serve God and the congregation by paying visits to members who are recovering or residing in a health care setting. There are also opportunities to serve in parallel to deacons by stepping forward to visit those who are homebound and not necessarily under direct health care. We will continue to deliver periodic updates like these as they become available. Thanks.